Hey guys, I hope that you are having an awesome day. Let me tell you, I'm just sitting here relaxing. Um, listen, I, I want to talk to you um, guys because, and some of you, let me just say, <laughs> some of you are not going to like what I have to say, right? Including real estate agents, but I'm going to say it, right? Listen, if you are buying a home in this market where there is high competition and low inventory, you want to be careful. I don't know if you guys just heard my dog jump off the bed and it was like, boom. <laughs> anyway, guys, you want to be careful about not overpaying, right? Too much, right? Right now, the inventory, like I said, is very low. People are being outbid and having to wait longer periods of time to find a home because the inventory is so low and there are so many buyers out, right? So listen, the, the only thing I want you to be careful about is overpaying too much. Now, yes, I know you may really want the house. And yes, I know, I know that the inventory is low, right? And I know, again, that there are many people competing and you may get over, what is it, impatient? And you may just really want this to happen. I listen, I completely understand, right? But listen, I'm one thing about me is I'm an honest agent, right? And I believe that I should, it is my obligation to tell you what's before you. It is my obligation to lay everything on the table. Why? Because integrity matters to me and your trust mean a lot to me, right? So for me, I rather lay everything on the table so you'll know what you're working with and then you can make your decision accordingly, right? Now, yeah, because I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not that type of person to see danger up ahead and not warn you, right? I'm not the, I'm not the type of person that'll uh, not say anything when I see you going down the road, right? I, I'm not going to watch you like, jump in deep water knowing you're too tired to swim or knowing you don't know how to swim, right? And I don't know where my camera is. I'm gonna have to buy me another uh, webcam. So forgive me if I'm all over the place. But the point is, again, your trust means too much for me. And so I'd rather, again, lay everything on the table and be honest with you, lay everything out, whether you agree with it or not, whether you, um, whether you uh, really want something to happen or not, I'd rather lay it on the table and then um, let you make the decision. I want you to make an informed decision, right? Based on everything, based on the cards before you, right? Even if not saying anything, we'll put more money in my pocket, right? Even if the decision is something that you really, really want, earning your trust for a lifetime, for me, means more than one commission check today. Right. So again, you may not like it, but it is what it is. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> and I know some of you may be like, what the heck is she talking about? What are you talking about, Brenda? Let me see. Let me tell you. Some people, this, I am a, I am a big, um, what is this stuff called? I am a big, um, mm, mm -mm. geez, I forgot. It's sangria something, Moscato. <laughs> How can I forget that? I love Moscato, right? So this one is peach and I, I have never tasted peach before. So, so yes, <clears throat> excuse me, I am a Moscato girl, guys, love it. So anyway, and I'm not, I'm not a big drinker, but for some reason I love a Moscato. right? So anyway, guys, when you're paying 20, 30 and $40, I'm sorry, $40, Lord Jesus must be just, <laughs> if you are paying 200,000 to 300,000 to 400,000 or 40,000, I'm sorry. Whoa, maybe it is the one. If you are paying 20,000, 30,000 or 40,000 over asking price, 
That's what I meant to say. Like, what the heck? You want to be careful not to do that, right? You really, really want to consider uh, consider what you're asking, right? Because I've met people uh, who ask me to put their home on the market, right? Then when I get there, we look at the condition, we consider the location, then we discuss the market values, right? Then they're disappointed when they come to find out that they're upside down on their mortgage, right? Meaning that they owe more on the remaining balance of this mortgage than the current market values, right? For example, they owe $250,000 um, on the mortgage. They have that much left to pay on the mortgage, right? But the market value shows that the home values are only valued at 210. So that means they're upside down, right? And it could be that they um, pay too much, could be that they overpaid too much when they purchased the home, right? Now, listen, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go after what you want. I, I, I didn't say that, right? I thought I heard my dog. What I am saying is that you need to be aware of the consequences of overpaying for the market um, down the road, right? You, it is possible to overpay or over, um, yeah, overpay for the current market values of that neighborhood, right? So that means years later, like I said in this, in that example, you go to sell the home and you discover that the home is not worth it, right? What you need to do is make sure that your buyer's agent check the home values before you make that offer. Now, let me just say something. Just say something. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm telling y'all, my sinuses are draining. I love the fall, but you know. Anyway, let me let me let me stop chasing them. Let me not do that. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying is that let me just say that a seller can ask you for any amount of money, right? They can ask for whatever they want for their house, right? Whether it's priced whether it's overpriced or not, they can ask for whatever it is that they want, right? That's why you should get your market, your buyer's agent. Ooh, I am feeling kind of tired. I don't think this stuff makes you um, drunk or anything. And I'm not used to drinking, right? But I've been having this for the last month or so, just urge. And so it's been really relaxing me. So I'm kind of feeling it, right? <laughs> Anyway, they can, a seller can ask for however much money he wants, right? And the buyer, uh, the buyer decides whether or not he's willing to pay more, right? Right? They decide whether or not they want to pay more, right? So you need to get your buyer's agent, again, to do the market values, to run the comps in that area so that you know what the market values are in that particular neighborhood in that area. I don't know if I should be looking up here for the camera or looking on the, I don't know where I'm, what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm looking at. Anyway, the point is have your buyer's agent run the comp so that you know without a shadow of a doubt that what you're offering to pay for this home is a market value. Because like I said, if you don't and you overprice or you overpay, I should say, down the road, it can hurt you when you reset, right? It can re it'll affect the resale value. Now, no one can predict the future, right? I get it. No one can predict the future. But at the same time, you need to just understand, excuse me, what can potentially happen if you um, overpay, right? So you just need to be aware of that, right? And that mortgage has to be paid off. And if you have a second mortgage, both of the mortgages have to be paid off before you can uh, get your proceeds and buy your next home, right? So the mortgages have to be paid off. So you don't want it to be so up, upside down or so overpriced for the market that you don't get any equity to use to purchase your next home, right? So listen, guys, I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm not telling you what to do. But what I am telling you is that you need to be advised of the, um, I want to advise you of the consequences of, over, of overpaying too much for the market, right? I'm not saying you can't um, 
I'm definitely not saying you cannot, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not a good idea to buy down the interest rates, right? You can buy down the interest rates, right? Um, also, <clears throat> also, if you have the money and want to do it, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. What I am saying is that you need to be careful or understand the consequences of overpaying, right? Again, I just want to lay everything on the table and then you make your decision. And guys, if you've had this experience, you can feel free to leave um, leave comments in the comment section. Yeah, I welcome I welcome the dialogue because sometimes, listen, listen, listen. Sometimes you guys give agents, real estate agents, a bad rap. Like it hurts me to my heart. <laughs> sometimes when I hear some of the things that people say about real estate agents, so listen, we're going to start having these, condit, these candid conversations so that we can lay everything on the table so that we can get to the bottom of this so that we can build better relationships between real estate agents and clients or customers and or customers. Customers. There is a difference between a client and a customer. So the point is we need to build better relationships. So I'm going to start having these candid conversations. Um, so I go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So guys, we can talk about what's on your mind and how can we as real estate agents do better, right? Listen, again, your trust, again, is more valuable to me than any amount of money. So I'm going to lay it on the table, whether you like it, like it or not, whether you be mad at me. <laughs> it's okay. You can be mad at me. Some people, yeah, some people get mad at me. Family get mad at me, but it doesn't mean that we don't love each other. It doesn't mean that I don't love you, right? I'm just going to tell you like it is. <laughs> and then at the same time, you won't be able to say, oh, Brenda, you, you messed up. You didn't tell me whatever, right? Because I love you. <laughs> and you will love me. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just wanted to... Um, I just wanted to advise you to be careful about overpricing or overpaying for the market. Yes, I understand the inventory is low. You're probably tired of going back and forth. You don't want to have to renew any type of leases. You want a house. I get it. I totally get it. And some people are moving way away in order to make that dream come true. You're like, nope, not me. And I don't blame you. So at the same time, guys, listen, again, I want to lay it out before you. I want to um, just, uh, just ask you to think about those consequences down the road if you were to um, overpay. And yes, you can talk to the lender about, <clears throat> excuse me, you can talk to the lender about, um, you know, how much is this going to affect my monthly payments? Uh, how is this going to make the payoff longer? Like, is it going to is it going to take me longer to pay off this mortgage? Or how can you bypass it? How can you shorten the time to pay off this mortgage? So there are some things that you can do, but I need you to be careful, and I need you to understand that if you overprice too much, then uh, it could affect the resale value. All right, guys. So again, subscribe so we can have some more candid uh, conversations because um, I really want I'm always curious. I'm always intrigued when people tell me their uh, experiences with real estate agents, good or bad. Right. Because, <laughs> you know, it's crazy because we take ethics classes. Excuse me. We take ethics classes every two years, right? And people are suing real estate agents, right? They're suing every party, all the parties involved in some cases, right? So the, the main thing is we take ethics class, we it's mandatory every two years before we can have our license renewed. And we talk about um, redlining and blockbusting and fair housing and what's discrimination, what's not discrimination. So it's crazy that we do that and yet it still happens, right? We can even lose our licenses and, so, and like we can lose our license, like is that serious? And people have like had their license revoked or what have you. So it is serious, serious business. The real estate commission take it really serious. <clears throat> Excuse me. In terms about ethics class, and then they modify it. <laughs> they modify it when something happens. They they and it's mandatory every two years. So, 
So guys, um, I just wanted to let you know, um, I don't even know why I got on that tangent. I just want you to be careful about not um, overpaying too much. I know you want the house. I know the inventory is low. I know that there are a lot of buyers, there are more buyers out there than inventory, but I just want you to be careful. And I just want you to understand the consequences. And I want you to make an, an informed decision. And I want you to meet with the lender. And I want you to really drill into, if I were to pay this, then what happens down the road? Now, I'm not talking about, oh, um, it'll it'll um, increase your mortgage or your, or your mortgage will be this much a month. I'm talking about resale and get into the end of this this uh this note or this loan all right guys i don't want to go too much because I, I i'll find a rabbit and start chasing it so i want to go ahead and cut this off but i just want you to be careful and like i said as long as you understand the consequences happy house hunting and i'll see you on the next video thank you